Ah, it's been a while. I haven't really made a Island Tour video in, what has it been, like five months now? Um, but <laughs> I am so excited. I saw some of these pictures on Twitter and I am, oh, I'm so pumped. Today, we're going to be going to a really cool island and it's actually called Avenue. I think it might be a little bit of a, a pun on Avenue. Let's first check out this design portal really quickly. And right now we have some of these custom designs for stuff I'm assuming we're gonna see. I guess that's kind of like eyebrows and some like doors and mats, but this is where we really wanted to go. Now we have so many different types of dresses. This is actually a version of my like Miko attire, except it has beautiful flowers on it too. And you can just see all the beautiful designs here that you can get. And if you go to their Twitter, they have another island and another address where you can get a bunch of these designs and before i forget we got to check out the map the dream address is right there at the bottom so if you want to go and tour right along with me you can i'm already loving this island's villagers so we have marshall gladys blanche pico and elisa we have shino serano serano how do we say his name i forget uh genji Kabuki and Walt. All right, now I got to figure out which direction I want to go. Uh, I think I'm going to start by going to the right. And uh, can we go down here? No, so we're already led in the proper direction. Now, guys, islands that do tours of themselves by really nice pathing like this that guide you to where you would want to see the most pretty angles. Like this angle right here is crafted to be seen from this angle. Now, if you don't have beautiful pathways like this, then you can't lead people, I guess, on an adventure or give the, you kind of want to cultivate the experience. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking too deeply with this. I also am noticing the flex right here with the green mums right there. That is that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh, and if you want to learn how to do that little zoom in trick, I have it in this video right here where I have nine more tricks. So check it out. So we come over here and we're already at a beautiful campground. I love the way the flags are symmetrically bringing us into this area. And it's like a rock garden. Oh my goodness, it is. What a creative use of the rocks. Now, sometimes people make a rock garden. That's very obviously a rock garden, very symmetrical or um, just like a circle very utility area but this is a way that i noticed they only used four rocks here so i wonder where the other ones are making a rock garden is a really really end game thing you can do in animal crossing but just looking up we can already see the first house we would want to go into or maybe second depending on when we get there but this is just absolutely lovely all right so let's move over to the left here and we have a beautiful waterfall and there's gladys we're looking up here. Can we even get past? Oh, yeah, we can. Wow, and then it leads us down here. Again, it is a big island, but it gets even bigger when you have pathways that wind. Like, if you notice on the map, it's leading us around in different directions to get places. The longer it takes for you to go from point A to point B, the bigger the island will feel, which is probably my number one tip to anyone playing in WoW. I almost didn't recognize this as a house. Wow. Purely because of this right next door, it blended in really well. You notice that? Well, I want to check out this area right around the house, and then we'll go inside and check it out. The, oh, the campsite's up there. I didn't even notice that. It says campsite right there, and it actually gives us a view of the campsite. That's actually really creative, and the use of depth. Now, really, all we had to do is climb these vines, and we could have got up here, which vines are a very good way to... uh hide pathways and make it easy to get around while also feeling bigger so you can get up here instantly or you can walk around making the island feel infinitely bigger beautiful and there were apparently stairs back here that i missed oh yeah there were i guess this was where we could have gone if we went the other direction and this is a pretty view over here that's nice okay let's go and check out what's inside the house because i've seen some screenshots and some pictures posted on their Twitter, which again, go follow. It's amazing. And uh, I'm excited for this one. So let's go and check it out. Yes, and it didn't disappoint. This feels so... Oh, you even have to take off your sandals right here. That is a nice touch in all Asian homes. 
Especially, this is based off of like an old traditional house in Japan. I really like this. Oh, <laughs> it's so nice. Uh, I'm not going to be, you know what, let, let me out of respect. <laughs> Take these off. There we go. See, now it worked. And now I'm being respectful. Now we're in here and it is just a beautiful, beautiful open feeling. Which is exactly what they were going for. There's a lot of items in here, by the way, but it doesn't feel like it, you know? Especially because all the items are, I guess, on the ground, right? So these mats, instead of using chairs and a dining room table, everything's on the floor. And so that makes it just feel like there's so much more vertical space, I guess. Um, let's start by going to the room on the left. I'm assuming the one on the right is a bathroom, though. That's, that's usually what it is. Okay, and we have like a go table. I believe that's what it's called a go table here and like an office Oh my goodness in the use of the custom designs. So remember in the custom design portal. We saw those uh, these I guess uh, blinds <laughs> They're not called blinds. Sh uh, screens, but now we have the autumn leaves falling in the background Wow, oh and the music playing You can hear the ambiance right now this is incredible. What incredible attention to detail. It is so minimalistic. But it takes a lot <laughs> of effort to make something that is so little do so much. Does that make sense? This is a beautiful, beautiful room. Wow. I can't get over that. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, if that was just one room on the left, I'm going to assume this one's the bathroom. And I wonder if it also has a beautiful view. It, this is definitely not a bathroom, <laughs> but uh, it does have a beautiful view. Oh, it has a little nook here. Oh my gosh. That is the most creative thing I've ever seen. By using the pillar in like the extra wall and like a shelving unit that looks like stairs. Plus on the roof having that uh, cloth hang down. It looks like there's a second story that you can go up right there. I am blown away. Yet again, not too many items. But the use of space and tactically choosing very specific items to go wear is masterful. That is something to take inspo from. Wow, I can't wait to see the rest of this island. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm blown away by that. Okay, let's go to the room to the north. If it's anything like the last two, I'm going to be impressed. Oh wow, okay, it's a bathhouse and it does something better than what happened before. Before, all it did was have, like, the wallpaper showing outside. But here, they actually have this incredible use of depth. They split the room almost exactly 50-50 with these dividers. Again, Happy Home Paradise really putting in work here. Creating all these beautiful designs. And it's just split so perfectly. And, oh, we have... <laughs> We have a little guy here. <laughs> we have a little buddy right here. <laughs> He's just chilling in the tub. Now, how you do that is you can actually place one on the wall and then place the tub there. Or it's the other, it's one of the two. Either you place him first on the wall and then the tub or vice versa. As in uh, the tub first and then him in the wall. And uh, then it looks like he's in the bath. It's an old trick, but it is amazing. And just because we're here, I have to, I have to do this. <laughs> ah, that brings me back. That was uh, on par with the gong at one point. <laughs> I used to... I wonder if there's a gong on this island. Now there's upstairs and downstairs. Let's go downstairs first. Oh, it's a zen garden. And again, a masterful use of wallpaper. And just in the background right there, cherry blossoms everywhere. The lighting is also really good. Again, happy home paradise putting in work uh, with the dimming settings and the different ambient, ambient light. Oh, and the butterfly effect. So, for those who don't know, again, Happy Home Paradise, when you polish things, you can have a little, like, effect to them. And that's what those butterflies are, if I'm not mistaken. That is such a good use of making things inside feel like they're outside. This creator is really, really pushing the boundaries. I love that. <clears throat> and last but not least, for this house, upstairs. Oh, we got some crazy music here. I guess it's, uh... <gasps> <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> I haven't done that in <laughs> in months. I'm not going to lie. That, that felt good. I guess it is for watching a show. You can just like plop down right here and watch a show. This is not what I expected to be upstairs. I definitely expected a bedroom, 
But um, I guess like everything else on this island, it just keeps surprising me. Incredible work. Before we go outside, I want to put on my shoes again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was amazing. And now we're off to the left. Hmm, do we want to go to the left? I think so, if we can. And oh, maybe we go up. I'm a little bit lost. It definitely looks like something very, very interesting was right there. But I think we're going to be coming there really soon. So I want to go up north of the island really quickly. Yeah, like right up here and check out some things here. Oh, <laughs> I almost tried to cross that bridge. Wow. A beautiful pond with a nice little... Nope. Okay, it's been a while. <laughs> and then we have some beautiful houses back there. And uh, we can go up here. It's just a beautiful little town. It's a small town. Wait, what do I see in the background? A person. Okay. Let's go talk to the old man. Hello, old man. If anybody knows what that says, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, and it looks like we can actually go down from here. But I think I want to avoid that for now. I definitely want to move over here and oh, look at the moon in the background. That's a nice subtle touch. We have a little forest back here, bamboo forest with, uh, oh, this is the house that we saw from the ground with the samurai kneeling down. I guess we can't enter it from this direction. Yeah, let's go back down here if I can fit. Come on, please move. <laughs> but yeah, let's go inside house number two already. That, I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. Okay, so this is looking... Like a little bit more of a modern house, but again, what do I know? We're going to take off the shoes again, <laughs> just like you're supposed to. And uh, just like the last house, we're going to start with the room on the left after doing a little circle here. This one is, yeah, it's, it's almost not, this almost looks like a hotel, like a business. This doesn't feel like a house, but as we explore more, I guess we're going to figure that out. Hmm. Oh, wow. So this is a restaurant over here on the left. So maybe it's a hotel. Maybe it is. We have some red snappers in the background. We have this guy. <laughs> I, lo I love this guy. <laughs> I love it. He's so weird. He's just, he, he's really <laughs> something else. Um, I think that's a Tanuki, right? Which is what Tom Nook is based off of, right? I, I think so. Okay, sorry, I just had to. That's an interesting kitchen. So yeah, it's a restaurant. And I'm definitely going to assume that the restaurant is part of this, like, hotel. But the more we explore, the more we're going to figure it out. So let's go to the right. What is here? Okay. It's a suite. <laughs> That's pretty sweet, if you ask me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's definitely just a room for somebody. It's definitely a hotel, I'm assuming. That's very pretty. I'm really excited to check out what the rest of this is to kind of piece it together, but again, something wonderful that you can do is you can take one of these half walls and with these cloths that hang down, it gets an even better effect, but it looks like a sliding screen door and you don't, you know, you only need like one square, I guess, to walk through here, but it looks like a door that can be opened and closed, which just adds to it so much. Beautiful idea. This is an interesting area. I mean, I don't know what it would be. It, it has a fire and a, it looks like a shrine. A fire indoors is a bit uh, a bit of a hazard. Oh, and you can see right here. So this type of shelf right here, that shelf right there is what they used to make it look like stairs going up with like a partition in front of it. That is really nice. So that's a full view of the object, but that's really pretty. Let's see if there's something on this side. Oh, you can see the lanterns on top. I love it. All right, so now let's go downstairs. Ooh. Wow. It, we went downstairs, but we're somehow on a rooftop, it feels like. On top of the world. Wow, this is interesting idea. Like a rooftop patio very romantic great for sightseeing of course the fireworks are there and it's so cool how they have the depth effect on these the fireworks like how it like, like if you look at it as i go up and down it pans it's like the parallax effect that's really cool i love subtle things like that now let's go see the rest all right let's go check out upstairs 
Ooh, it's like a spa. <laughs> it is exactly like a spa. It is, and you have like these massage chairs. <laughs> I love it. Little snacks here, right? Oh, I, I don't know what my character was doing there. And then we can come over here and relax in the bath. That's awesome. It is so peaceful. I also love how the bamboo wallpaper in the back and then layering bamboo on top of it. Again, beautiful use of depth. Again, you don't need a lot of items cluttered everywhere. You can just use the correct ones. It's, it's a lot more difficult than it seems, but less is more. And this island is 100% showing that with the houses. All right. Oh, no, I forgot to put on my shoes. Okay. Uh, my feet are a little dirty, a little stinky. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> it's nothing. Did I, did I say stinky? I meant uh, fresh. Hey, short chase here, reminding you to <laughs> subscribe if you're Subscribe if you do any of these things wrong and uh, if you learned something from the video It really helps me out and um, of course give it a thumbs up and engage with the video through comments If you want to help me out in the algorithm anyway guys back <laughs> Love this filter back to the video. Okay, so let's continue going back to the left I do know there is stuff that I missed over in the right side of the island But I think the best course of action is to go back to the center and then just go there like naturally Okay, so we're back here before we got sidetracked at the first house and I want to go check out this Zen garden right here. Wait, there's two. No, that's a pond over there in the Zen garden with that sand effect right there or the sand uh, pattern on the ground. That's really high quality. And the use of depth here is beautiful. Come over here and I believe it's a donate. No, I guess it's supposed to look like a donation box is my guess where you would drop in donations there, but that's actually, I believe, like a cricket cage or something of the sort. We pan up and we see the museum in it's all its glory. One of the prettiest, prettiest buildings in Animal Crossing. So you only get one of those. So decorating it is amazing. It's so bright, vivid and red with the red trees and it's just so gorgeous. And what is this? You see that down there, guys, on the left? I want to walk down that. That is incredible. I guess that's where we're going now. And we're going to walk through these winding markets. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we go over here. A nice little relaxing pic... Not a picnic area. Uh, a place where you can just sit down and have a coffee or tea. You hear the wind chimes? That's so cool. And then we go down. Wow, uh, that is cool. Wait, what is this? Is this like a... Oh my goodness. I wish I knew more about Japan, but you know how th there's like a famous picture where the gates do this up to like a temple? Look at that. Again, use of depth in this island is incredible. Just magnificent. Look at that. Okay. And we have this guy over here in the background. I, I just gotta go. I gotta go. I just gotta do it. But I think we're at the point where we can go to the beach where... I thought, oh, there's another one, <laughs> another tanuki. You know, the beach that we saw over there on the left? Is this the way? Yes, this is the way. Okay. Oh, the music shift. The music shift and oh, with the sun over there in the west, as we walk down here, it's, it's almost romantic. No, that's exactly what it is. This is a romantic path. With all the green mums there. Walking through a beautiful gate. This is just one of those areas you have to just walk through slowly. And look at the cherry blossom petals on the ground. Oh, wow. Let me walk up further here. Oh, and this is one of the best formations. If you can find an island with this. Look how much space that is for you to play around with. Like, on my island, these rocks, they're not that nice. <laughs> my rocks are not this quality. This is a pretty good one. I guess you could say this rock rocks, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's, it's awesome. Wow. So if we continue up here, we have like a little, the I guess another place for plays or presentation to be put on. And I believe up here. Yeah, this is what I... Oh, I was not expecting this. 
This is nice. Oh, maybe imagine people giving their wedding vows here or something of the sort. With the music playing, subtle music. Oh, that's lovely. Having the rock effect on the rock <laughs> near the sea with a little bit of water. Beautiful effect. Especially with the rocks with the water in them. Wow, this is a lot of rock and water here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we go over here and yeah, we're right back where we started. Okay, we're back at resident services. And now I want to I wanna go down to the left around here. And then we're going to go to the airport and then up the right side. So... We're going to go to this other little housing area. I love how it's so close and cozy, very efficient with space. And I mean, that's that's how neighborhoods were. You're close with your neighbors. You know, you got to fit everything in. Very hometown feeling. Yeah, this feels like a hometown. It's a really good way to put it. Look at that really tiny tree right up there. Oh, and there's the crater right there. Maru. And uh, if anybody knows what that says, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> in the comments maybe you can combine it with the last one so we know everything um we're here on the beach and how do we get in okay i guess we're not supposed to go through there so let's continue around here and okay there's a little pathway there here is the beautiful entrance just pushing the crater out of the way no biggie it's not like it's their island or anything we come over here to this beautiful garden area, and this feels very European to me. Feels very European, this kind of look. Especially, like, the whole change of scenery. It's just a little slice of heaven, I guess. Go over here to the right, and there's some vending machines. A little cricket there, and that's a nice little area. Instead of having the beaches as beaches, they've transformed them into just more island, which... Honestly, I respect it. I like it. And now, continuing on to the right. Right now, we're in front of resident services. I love the use of, like, these artificial trees. They're not artif not They're not artificial, but you know what I mean. These type of trees. And can I even get through here? <laughs> oh, there we go. So, there seems to be a beautiful walkway from the airport, which is a very important thing. Yeah. So, man... I, I kind of do like uh, dream addresses, but nothing beats visiting an island where it's so tailored around coming into this entrance. So this entrance right here just speaks volumes to what you're going to experience. It has a bit of all of the island combined, and it has a beautiful path leading right up to resident services, which is, you know, it's the OG way. It's how I like to tour islands is by visiting the actual live island. But ever since dream addresses, things got more convenient. But unfortunately, we just start at resident services. So that little bit of nuance of your entrance is kind of lost. You know what I mean? So let's go over to the right. And I love this path. The use of depth. It feels so fresh. And I believe I can go down here. We can to a little fishing area with Shino. Hey, Shino. And uh, we have all of these boats and an anchor. And <laughs> look at this guy over here. What is he doing? He he's going crazy. <laughs> yeah, you go, little guy. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. He's just he's just doing his own thing. He's in his own little world right now. Not a thought in that head. Not a single thought. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's go over here to the right. Pan up. More depth. It feels like a giant city in the background. Man, this is one of the best use of maple trees I've ever seen. Or rather, not maple, but, you know, fall colored leaves. Let's go over here and check out. This is the Abel Sisters. Again, putting rock on the beach. Kind of rocks. <laughs> and we have this. Oh, this is another beautiful lookout. Again, you could have wedding vows here. These are very romantic areas and we could walk up along this beach but i have a feeling that uh, i don't want to skip the other pathway so maybe we can go up and then come down the beach and then we can see all of it that seems like a better idea so let's just go down this path through all of these gates oh there's a cemetery over here there is okay hey kabuki what, what are you doing there you jump scared me what come on don't do that just hiding out 
<laughs> and we go up this path. Ooh. Beautiful. Where are we headed? Are we headed to a temple of some sort? And look at that. On like um, this area, you can see more tr autumn leaves just on the shingles of the roof slates, I guess. That's really nice. And um, we come up to here and it's a little rural... Rural? Can I? I can't say that. Can I? Rural <laughs> area? A, a little farming town. Let's just say that. We have tractors. We have wheat fields. Wow. Wow. I really felt like I, you know, Alice down the rabbit hole. I just went to a new dimension. This is, this is just one block away from resident services if you look at the map. But how the island is designed, we've just been on a long adventure to get, I'm not even exaggerating, a couple steps away from resident services. But you saw how long that adventure was. This is what I'm talking about. The masterful art of making your tiny island feel huge. I love it. This is incredible. Wow. That is special. Wow, I'm in love with that. <laughs> wow. I, 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 wh where have we gone? This is a new island. What? I love it. it yeah, we have little tiny things here. And oh, I see a path over there to the right. So if I follow here, oh my goodness, did I just find another path? Another secret area, and oh, you see stuff over there on the beach? Let's go up here. Hmm. Let me go over here. It's almost as if we're not supposed to be here, and... Oh! Look at that view. Look at that view! What? Wait a second. Look at that view. Oh my goodness. If that isn't the most picturesque landscaping I've ever seen. Different heights, different depths. The depth of field, the time of day, the leaves flowing through the air, the, the flowing water. Now, let's notice that is not the sound of a waterfall being really loud. That is a subtle sound of water flowing bringing in the whole ASMR kind of vibes. Oh, and the sun over on the left with that beautiful yellow to pink to blue gradient over to the right, falling into like the red leaves and the archways with the beautiful trees. And that is something special. And while I do think this is beautiful, I sometimes wish I could press a button and kind of disable this fog effect in Animal Crossing, you know what I mean? Because this stuff is far away, so it's a little bit foggy, right? But if I could disable that, it would just be the most beautiful picture I've ever seen. Wow. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. That is really impressive, and it almost feels like I could have missed this by not seeing that path at the last second. Wow, it gets that kind of like hidden gem of a rural, <laughs> rural town, <laughs> farm town. And then we walk over here, past it. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Wow, we walk up here, down these stairs again, playing with depth. Two flights of stairs and then a bridge. We go down pond on the left, a little relaxing area to the right, and we have this, another gate, and I believe down here we have red. Yes, so this is the secret beach. Wow. Oh, guys, this is such a cool adventure. I feel like, uh, oh, uh-oh, I feel like we're on an adventure here. Uh, I thought I was going to set that off, but I guess the volcano didn't I guess the volcano didn't explode. Okay, but <laughs> this is amazing. We have uh, the boat that we saw in the background right there. Wow, this is incredibly dynamic. It just keeps changing. Oh my goodness, there's more stuff. Oh, this is the house we were at earlier. So I guess that brings us full circle here, right? Yeah. Wow, so that's it for this 
tour video guys if you liked it make sure to give a thumbs up you watched it to the end so you may as well subscribe to say thank you and make sure you want to see more as I said before, go check out the amazing creator. They do have another island. I don't think the dream address is out yet, but I'm not sure. And they have unbelievable design codes. Oh, also, by the way, if you watched this late, like you're all the way at the end, I did a face reveal. If you're curious how I look, it'll be linked right up here in the top right corner. Or you can just go to my channel. It's like one of my most recent videos because I haven't uploaded in a few months. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video.